man who needs no introduction, Mario, um, is going to show us how to make gnocchi with, looks like, butternut squash and chili sauce. Yes, exactly. So we have here well-boiled starchy potatoes. Starchy russets. These are the 49-cent potatoes, and they're exactly what we want. And this is the essential tool, the it's ricer. It's called a ricer. What you don't want to use is a masher like you're making mashed potatoes and work them because it's in that working that they become gummy and they become not tasty. Take them like so. I'm going to press them right through the ricer and right onto the board like so. I like to make a little work out of them just about so anything hard. as I can. You want to work the potato while it's still warm. For one pound of potatoes, it's one egg and 100 grams flour. And that's about how much we have right there. Right. Now we do this in the well method. So like regular pasta. Exactly. Okay. And what my grandma always did is use, a, they use a term called quanto basta. Quanto basta means enough. Like how much do you put in? Enough. The way that you're going to know that it's coming together is in fact when it comes together. And what you don't want to do is knead it until it's completely looking very much like a dough. We don't mind that it has these little kind of chunky loose bits around the outside. Touch it. Still relatively warm, right? Yeah. That's, you know, it's very, definitely. It's actually very nice. Right. It's a, it's a <laughs> nice little patata like that. So that's your dough. Allow that to rest for a couple of seconds while we start to make the condimento. About three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This could be butternut squash, acorn squash, pumpkin. Put in a single layer. And we're not going to add any salt because I'm looking to get a crisp, crunchy crust on the outside. I want this to become caramelized and crisp. Don't want it to become soft and mushy. Right. So it stays just like that. All right, so we just roll it into tubes. Yeah, I'm going to get this. So we go like that. I want you to show me the fork thing. All you do is you go like this. So you push it, but you don't push it. The beauty of this is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> all right, so now I have a jalapeno because I like it a little spicy, but I only need about a half of one. So I'm going to take a red onion. <laughs> and I want to soften the onions just a little bit first. And then I'm going to take this tomato paste. I want to toast it in the pan so that it goes from that bright, beautiful Ferrari red to more like the brick red of the buildings in Bologna. And all you have to do is introduce it without water to this hot pan. But I'm going to leave those in like so for another minute. Now we're ready to go gnocchi into pot of salted boiling water. So all you have to do is go once through like that, and then they won't bother you ever again. So now what I'm going to do is, I've got this till it's just starting to create that little foam on the bottom, right? We like that. Now I completely drop the temperature to boiling, and this cooks them in a different way. This extends that caramelized flavor from the outside pieces all the way through to the bottom. Oh, now, see here, our gnocchi are going over here. What we want to do is lower the heat once they come to the top, just so they're kind of smiling on top there. And they're fine there, just sitting there at the boiling temperature. So what you want to do is allow them to sit there for about a minute and a half at the top. When the sauce gets this tight, and if you look at the pan, you can see that it's not even enough on a flat surface to cover the bottom of the pot, right? right. That's where you want it to be. And then what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of that pasta water when it's ready. And now they're gentle. You have to be kind Delicate. of careful yeah, with them. Yeah. What's really important about pasta is that it absorbs the sauce. You would never serve these with the sauce on the side. So now you go like that. And then we take a little bit of the Indisputed King of Cheeses, Parmigiano Reggiano. And then at the very last second, what I love to do is it. Let me guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. One for it for me. Gorgeous. Tastes, tastes just like a potato. Thank you. My favorite. Let's finish eating. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's great to have you.